The death of the former first lady was received with sadness across the country, with leaders paying tribute to a woman they described as an inspiration to many. On his Twitter handle, Deputy President William Ruto wrote, and I quote, It is with deep sorrow that I have learned of the tragic death of Mama Lucy Kibaki this morning while undergoing treatment in London. I condole with the family of His Excellency Mwai Kibaki and pray they bear this grave loss with fortitude. End of quote. Former President Moi termed Mama Lucy's death as a terrible loss that will be felt across the country and beyond and asked God to give Kibaki and his family strength. First Lady Margaret Kenyatta said Mama Lucy championed girl child education and noted that she was a founder member of Starehe Girl Center. The First Lady said Mama Lucy championed many causes, including campaigns against early marriages and female genital mutilation. Kenya's High Commissioner to Australia, Isaiah Kabira, described her as a formidable advisor who played the role of enforcer of what she believed to be the core values of both the Kibaki presidency and Mwai Kibaki, the person. Mrs. Jane Keano, a close family friend of the Kibakis, remembered Mama Lucy as a firm defender of what she believed in. Mama Njiko was a woman of principles. And, when, and she never had room for fools. You know, she said what she said and she said what she knew, it, it was right. And I, I respected her a lot for her views because she stood with her views. And if she felt something was not right, she would say it. It's my prayer, Mr. Speaker. In Parliament, MPs paid tribute to Mama Lucy, remembering her as a selfless woman who fought for the welfare of women and youth. Nafkiri kila mkenya anajua. Mimi mwenyewe kwa hii bunge ni kwa sababu yake. Na ni mama ili Mwenyezi Mungu amewekea siku yake na siku yake imefika. Tunasema pole. I lost my flat because I, I know how far we came, came with her. But I know God is going to keep her. Bahari Musuli. We will miss her because she was courageous, she was strong, she was not fearing, and she makes the women to be strong. Many of us who served in last parliament had the rare opportunity to engage with her. And uh, at this very trying moment, I want to send my sincere condolences to the Kibaki, his family, and the people over there. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is a great loss and a great blow for all of us indeed, uh, for Mama Lucy uh, to have left us, but we draw strength and courage from uh, her life, her tenacity, her integrity, and her support for all the causes that she held dear to her heart. Sentiments that were echoed by the Nyeri County Governor Nderi Tugashagwa, who say the country has lost a great leader. We will commit them to prayers all over Nyeri, and in the coming week, Wherever we are, we will pray for the family to feel strong and feel that the people of Nyeri are with him during this very, very trying time. Former Prime Minister Raila Odinga led court politicians in observing a moment of silence for a leader they termed as selfless and an inspiration to many. I know the role that Mama Lucy Kibaki played in, uh, in facilitating the smooth running of that uh, coalition government. So in her passing away, this country has lost um, a true first lady. Whenever she felt that her family was under threat, she even would forget that she was even a first lady and go out to protect that image of the family. We send our sincere and heartfelt condolences to Mze Mwai Kibaki and his family. Also paying tribute was Amani Coalition Congress leader Musalia Mudavadi. Uh, Alizumuza kama mama pia wakati wana siyasa walikuwa wakienda kwa njia isiofa. Uh, alikuwa mara kwa mara kitoa uh, matamshi ambayo yonarejesha watu uh, kwa fikira ambazo ni za, 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 za maana. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.